put it up full mass. This is a hell of a story. Mr. Giovanni Loyola claims in a lawsuit that police in Alabama, Alabama police handcuffed him so tightly for so long that his hand had to be amputated. There's your evidence right there. His trial is taking place later this year. One of the officers never turned on his body camera and the other officer blocked, partially blocked the camera. Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies received a shots fired call at the home where Mr. Giovanni lived. Deputies Christopher Godbert and Ashanti McInney, named defendants in the lawsuit, arrived, knocked on the door, pushed him, which caused Godbert to put Mr. Giovanni in handcuffs. Giovanni stated he was handcuffed for no reason. The deputy, Godbert, said that Giovanni was, was resisting arrest and trying to get up. So he struck him multiple times to gain compliance. Okay. Quote, I ain't even resisting. Why y'all acting like this? He said, according to the memo that referenced the body camera. He later said, it hurts. To which the deputy, Godbert, responded, well, that's what happens when you F with the police. End quote. So Giovanni complained that the handcuffs were too tight. He said it. But Godbert ignored him, according to the lawsuit. Quote, Deputy Godbert refused to even consider loosening the handcuffs. He kept the handcuffs on plaintiff with the same degree of tightness until he had transported him to the Jefferson County Jail that night, the lawsuit says. This was filed in 2021. Um, Manasco wrote in her memo that Giovanni told deputies he had injured his left hand in a motorcycle crash and the handcuffs felt really tight around it. Godber loosened the cuffs and asked Giovanni if they were too tight, to which he responded, no, according to what's written. Now, officers filed a disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace charge. Wait a minute, y'all came to his house. So they filed a disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace charge. Prosecutors dropped the case. All right, they were like, yeah, no. You don't go to somebody's house and say, you're being disorderly, we're gonna arrest you. So they dropped the case. All right, let's put up the picture. They dropped the case. Um, Four days after his arrest, he went to the hospital. You see the discoloring on his fingers. Look at this, it's horrible. Doctors partially amputated three fingers due to a lack of circulation. And eventually they had to take off his entire hand. It's horrible, he said. In a 2020, 2020, excuse me, 2021 interview with AL.com, quote, I don't wish that pain on nobody. It's just really unexpected. I have no words for it, end quote. The suit filed in federal court in April claims deputy used excessive force and that his civil rights were violated. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, which declined to comment, then denied to the court that deputies handcuffing Giovanni led to his hand being amputated um, and requested a lawsuit be tossed. Wow. All right. Wise thoughts here. I mean, this is as bad as it gets, right? Without actually Damn. losing your life to lose limb uh, because the cops wrongfully arrested you is bad enough uh, that they put you in that position. But to actually come away from that with no hand, I hope they take this Alabama Police Department to the cleaners. Yeah. And I hope some heads roll too up at that police department because this is disgraceful. It's horrible, man. Horrible.